sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good. Lewis, uh, welcome to the show, TFNN, from the offices of 100 South Broad Street, Duke and Duke. Folks, there is trouble in River City. If you remember the movie when they were in the uh, – where all the lawyers were together and they were uh, talking about things, about how honest they had to be, and they slipped a uh, $50 bill into uh, Diane Aykroyd's uh, pocket to you know get him to uh, uh, you know be a be a crook. Anyway, uh, what happened was uh, we have a, a situation like that right now, folks. I think they're trying to hide from us. I posted a chart up here of the Nasdaq, folks, over the last week or so. Okay, now you think that's important? You can see here we have lower tops, the market's breaking, but even more important, I want to show you the next chart. I'm probably 100% wrong on this. I'm usually 80% wrong. This might even be, might even take my record away. But here's the NASDAQ. Uh, you'll see here, we made a high of the 382 from December of 2021. Okay? That was two and a half years ago. We made it, it take, it's taken uh, six months to make a 382 retracement. And look how the market's rolling over to the downside. Uh, th this is uh, this is extremely bearish in my opinion. I'll go. I'm going to take it one step farther because you know I'm a I'm a short term trader. I like to look at places that look where you can get in without uh, you know breaking a leg or something like that. But if you take a look now, this is what it's done over the past uh, nine trading day, seven trading days. Let me get it up here so you can take a look at. I'm just giving you my train of thought, and if you disagree with me, I. Would love for you to call in and you know tell me why I'm wrong and maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Uh, but anyway, you can see here what's happening over just the last few days. Okay, now with the with the the markets rallying really strongly today on good data, whatever it was, I, I don't know what it was. I'm just going to bring this up here. This is just the last two days of the Nasdaq, and I'm going to get it up here. And I always talk about that little magical number back there. Yes, Johnny, I see your plaque is up there. He's waving the 382 plaque. I've got it around here somewhere. Anyway, there's what it's in. Your yesterday's right there. There was your high, okay? From the high we made two days ago, today's high was an exact 382, okay? It was also 382 of the previous day. So something's not right. Uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, maybe this will all turn around today and everything will be good. But... That's not what I'm seeing right now. I, I hope that helps you a little bit, but that's my opinion of what we're looking at. And, of course, I happen to be uh, on the short side of this, so we'll find out whether it's going to do anything or not. But, you know, these other markets are acting really good. Look at the, look at here is the E-mini S&P. There's nothing wrong with this chart. And, of course, remember, the NASDAQ is not that big of a deal for the stock market. It's only, a uh, well, 100 stocks, but... It's still, you know, 20% of those is covered by 10 stocks. So you can see here we had that 78% retracement up here uh, in the S&P. But remember, when this is doing this, we got the NASDAQ way down here. That That's very unusual, folks. And the NASDAQ was the leader of this thing, you know, all the way down. And I'm thinking, well, maybe if this thing lightens up here, maybe that's what's going to cause the market to break. I don't know. I'd appreciate any call, uh, phone calls to tell me whether I'm right or wrong, and I, we won't know that for quite a while. Also, uh, we were uh, kind enough to get a really neat-looking chart here from uh, the uh, – this is from the Fed. I wanted to get this up here to show you 
uh, what they're looking for because we've got a big GDP number coming in tomorrow. And uh, what the, this is the Atlanta Fed, and they're, they're usually pretty good with their statistics, but uh, they're expecting, this is the estimated guess of what it is, and this is what the other people are looking for. So one of these, one of the, the public is either wrong and the Fed is right. So the Fed is saying things are okay, it looks like it's going up, and the people that are watching it say, hmm, not so sure, not so sure. But look at that! Look at that divergence there, folks. I mean, that that in, that in itself would scare the bejeebies out of me. That means something big is out there. By the way, I, you talk about you know names that mean things. You know how they have a covey, a quail, and a herd of cattle, and uh, what's you know, a flock of sheep? Okay. Do you know what it is when you get what they call a group of uh, swans, black swans that come together? What it's called? It's called a bank. <laughs> You can't make it up. Anyway, I don't know what that means anything. And since we're talking about banks, let's just take a look to see how our regional banks are doing on the NASDAQ. And, of course, we'll get this up here uh, to show you here. And uh, you'll see here that the regional banks have shown no sign of any type of a rally. We had a little bit of a rally today. But whether it does anything from that level or not, you know, I'm not really sure. So let's keep, let's keep, a, keep, a, keep a close eye on that one. Now I want to give you something from a technical, a mental part of this game. Uh, as you know, we went long soybeans the other day at a very nice price. I want to get these up here on the bottom here. And uh, hold on a second. And let me get it up here so everybody can see it. Everybody mostly knows uh, we've been bullish this. And we got up here today. This was a, a very nice. We're in the third, uh, fourth day of the rally. And it's setting right at a 382 and a 61% retracement. And so... I told the folks, I said, you know, this is a heck of a run. It's just in the beginning of the season. This is not a, you know, weather market yet or anything like that. And maybe it goes straight up, I said. But, you know, when you buy way down here at 392 and you're setting up there at 440 in three days, I said, those things don't come along very often. And the fact that we're setting right at those numbers, I decided that you have your choice. You need to put your stop. Uh, just like a five cent trailing stop or just get out of Dodge and uh, take your profits. Well, it went higher. We were looking at 37, uh, 437 in the July and we've been up to 444. And I have, believe it or not, folks, I had several people ask me, you know, aren't you upset that you missed this last seven cents? Folks, if you start thinking that way, go over to McDonald's and get a job flipping burgers because this is you got to take some profit somewhere. Hey, listen, you know, I do a two o'clock show for a TFNN from the place of someone who has passed away, David White. And his just saying, I, I love this thing, sell when you want to, not when you have to. And that's what I'm doing. You know, you're big. Hey, look, there's always going to be another train coming through. There's no question about it. You know, so I just do one thing at a time. And I'm not going to get the highs. Uh, I'm not going to get the lows. All I want is a little piece in the middle. And that's really what you want to be watching. So those are the things that, uh, uh oh, I think I'm hearing a ding here. We've got Larry from Wyoming on the line. Larry, how are you doing? I'm okay. How are you doing, Larry? Still living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. What can I do for you, my friend? Yeah. I just saw the movie The Family with Robert De Niro. I, I, was, I, I just was cracking up over that film. you got to see it. Yeah, I have seen it. Hey, listen, you have we got, we got to pay a few bills here. And when we okay. come back, we'll talk about natural gas, okay? Okay. All right, we'll be back, folks. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Larry up in Wyoming. Larry, what are you saying, my friend? What do you like today? Well, I, um, I don't know if it's good news. Uh, natural gas, if you want to go long, natural gas increased uh, open interest on futures by 7,300, and it's mm -hmm. going down. That means there's right? more sellers, and the market is still bearish, okay? Because if, yeah. if, 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 right, that means that the shorts are in control. But well, I posted a chart. Because I think we're this goes it's a four hour chart that goes back quite a ways uh, about six weeks but we've got a beautiful uh, three drive to a bottom pattern coming in about ten or fifteen uh, ten to fifteen points lower right around the two o six level I think we're trading at two o seven right now but two o six is uh, the triple numbers coming together there one from a long term weekly. And remember, yeah. the all-time low is like 195, and the, the secondary low is like 203. So at 206, you know, you put your stop under, you know, 190, and you're only risking, you know, 15 points. And if that thing's right, just a 382 retracement would be like seven handles on your money. So that's what I'm looking at uh, in the natural gas. So wait for 206, Larry, my uh, friend. From your experience, uh, at the end of a, a move, do these uh, futures traders pull? Will they pull off? Will you see a spike in um, negative? Will they reverse quickly at low levels like this rapidly? No, it, it depends. You know, because you, know, you know, if you're in control, you know, look at the. To give you an example, you can see that big chart on the way down. I mean, open interest was increasing all the way, so the shorts were just, you know, given everything that the bulls wanted, and they took it, and then down it went. And then okay. as they start to sell out, that pushes the prices lower. So when you're watching the open interest, which is a good thing, when you're there, you want to see open interest increasing because the, the bearish people are getting more bearish. Okay, that would be the opposite. If you turn it upside down, and that's how we usually understand it, if people are really bullish and everybody's in there, the market's not going to turn. Well, it's just the opposite. When you're, oh, you're doing, okay. it's just the opposite. 
you know, you got to think of saying, oh, well, everybody's really bearish. Hmm. Maybe okay. I can remember gotcha. back in. I can yeah, remember, that makes sense. That makes sense. I can remember in 2007. OK, I was helping a, a hedge fund get started and they they were interested. In, they had like 20 million dollars. And I told them to put five percent of it into McDonald's. It was trading for 11. And I said, put a stop at nine and a half. And that was you know, about 12 percent. So I said, you're going to lose 12 percent if you're wrong on this. I said, but if you're right, I said, you're going to hit a big home run. And they bought it. It never went more than a half a dollar lower. And, you know, McDonald went into the hundreds over the next, uh, you know, 15 years. So I, I don't, okay. I'm not saying this is the kind of trade, but, you know, it's when everybody's bearish is when you got into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so the, the shorts might be showing, because I looked a few days ago and it was, the open interest was down 1,000. So I said, oh, mm -hmm. open interest is contracting in a down market. That's bullish. Yes, it is. But, but today it was up 7,000 and it's going yeah. down. So they That's might be right. getting overly confident. Yeah, That's I see right. That. You see, you, this, you got a number of seven versus a number of one. You can see there are a lot more sellers coming in, and that's why the prices are dropping. But, you know, the yeah. good part about, Larry, if you're looking at this, they're not cascading down. They're going down very slowly. Yes, I, you know, I watch so it that, every, uh, I'm watching yeah. it too much. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I, I, so I, you're saying, so what that tells you is for every drop, there's a buyer. There's buyers everywhere. That's correct. Absolutely. I want to tell okay. you a funny story from my Drexel days. Uh, one of my favorite, my he was like a father to me, and I loved him dearly. He was, was uh, hold, on. <coughs> hold on just a second. If you ever watch the movie uh, or watch a, the series, uh, what was I think? Dog, dog on a call. <laughs> when I started thinking of him, he's sitting right here in front of me. Anyway. I was uh, Ty Andrews of uh, you know the oh, yeah. uh, what was I don't I can't remember I'll, the series will come to me you know, but Ty was in my office every day before he won, went on location and stuff and we became very close friends and he anyway the story was I was talking to a guy on the phone just like I am to you and I had a position on in gold or something and it was going down and and I told him just like I'm telling you I said yeah but it's not going down very much I said you know we got to stay in here because it could turn at any time and and Ty took a piece of paper off my desk and he wrote s l b s and he turned it around upside down so that i could read it and i said what the hell is s l b s and i said just a minute uh, just a minute larry and i said larry what do you mean ty what do you mean he said tell him he's still losing but slowly <laughs> I wish yeah. I'd have kept that piece of paper over the years, but uh, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for 206 in this, my friend. So if it gets there, you be sure to call in. Okay, I will. I appreciate you. Thank you, Larry. Hey, you bet, Larry. Thank you very much. I'll come up there and help you do some rodeo stuff. You you knew I was a champion rodeo rodeo rider, right? I, you know, I'll, uh, I'll 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 try to put on some leg braces and do it with you, <laughs> just like I'm a professional golfer. Okay, thanks for joining All us, right, pal. Later. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's move on uh, to the next one here that I wanted to uh, cover. We've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll put that. Now, I'll put the the long term uh, chart up here for the um, for the uh, natural gas here because we are getting really close. But like uh, Larry said, with open interest increasing, prices going down, that's a bearish phenomenon. So if we look at this now on the long term picture. There's, you know, we bought it that 1.618 at 287. We were out at 276. And now what we're looking for, I'll get that other pattern up because this is one that's really focused on. I did a complete video on this to, you know, to tell the folks you get ready because it's going to be any day now. And if we get this up again, we'll walk through it. And then when we come, if you have any questions, of course, you know, call me back and or call into the show and I'll try to answer them. But as you can see here, we are setting right there. We need to go right there. Now, that's not a lot because you're, you're only talking a few, about oh, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600. If you get down to this level, okay, you've got a really good place to watch it. If we get a really good decrease in open interest down in here as they start to come down, that means the shorts are lightening up, and that's when the market will have its big turn. We saw this in bonds. Uh, we've seen it in gold. We've seen it in crude oil. 
you know, all I do is when we're getting ready to hit a major point, I start watching the open interest just like Larry was doing. One day it's a thousand, next day it's seven thousand, and maybe it'll be twenty-two thousand someday because that means a a huge player came in to make a bet or what we call an intelligent risk speculation. Uh, then that's pretty much uh, you know what we're looking at. By the way, on the gambling note, remember Shane Smolian really liked the. Uh, Miami Hurricanes to win the NCAA, okay, and because of an astrological alignment for the University of Miami. So if you want to put $5, you can get back, are you ready for this? $25, a five to one payoff. So that's a heck of a payoff. So for five bucks, you get back 25. This old cowboy's putting 10 in. I really like this one. Uh, I, I think I like the way these these all these kids play. They're so exciting to watch, and all the games will be good. So, my ten bucks is going on the Miami Hurricanes. And believe me, folks, the last time I won a bet on sports was uh, who did I bet on? It was the 1953 World Series, and I remember I lost. It must have been the Yankees. Actually, it was the Cleveland Indians. I think no, 54 was the Cleveland Indians. We're going to take a break here, boys and girls. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, more emotional pain. No, I'm joking about that, but, you know, when I mentioned about taking profits in uh, soybean, they are now 10 cents higher. That would have been another $500, but uh, my assumption was 
that we've had one heck of a move over four days. We're right near the 61% retracement. We're now above it by about four cents. And uh, all I'm saying is that you got to be really careful here. And so I am just going to be a little more careful. Now, if you remember just the other day, I posted this chart here last Thursday. This is the one on the um, hog market doing the same thing. Now, this is the same kind of pattern that we're looking at for the NASDAQ, excuse me, for the natural gas. This one was absolutely perfect because you can see here you have a beautiful ABCD pattern here and a perfect down here. People ask me the question, why aren't all of them perfect? Well, I don't know the answer to that, but uh, I thought about that a lot. All I knew is I know it's pretty good. Now, when you're looking at this, this one happens to be perfect because from your high to your low, was the same number of days as your high to the low. That's a very strong indication. Yep, that's probably it. And the price come together at the same time right here. So that's AB equals CD and price and time. I mean, I don't see the boys with the Elliott Wave ever talking about something like that. But that's the harmonic that's actually there. It's the ABCD. You don't have to worry about whether it's a, a 1, 2, 3, a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just look at the ABCD. This is what Mandelbrot said. And that was, you know, everything is related to these fractals. And he was a father of fractals. So let's make sure we take a look at that. All right. Now, we've had a pretty good rally. But the problem is now we've got a we've got a crop report coming in hogs, I believe, on Friday. It's either Thursday or Friday. And there's going to be a report coming out. And I'm going to tell you a story that I think you'll like. Byron Tucker, when I first met him in January of 1982, and he's been my very best friend ever since. He uh, was there running the uh, office for Goldman Sachs and also Delsher. They worked together. And uh, uh, Delsher was a big supporter of Del uh, Goldman Sachs and vice versa. And uh, Delsher, of course, was Leo Malamud, who was the president of the exchange. And he, he, he held all the marbles, let's put it that way. Anyway, he, had a, 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 he, wanted, he gave Byron an order to buy 50 T-bills. And so uh, Byron said, yeah, but we've got a report coming out in about 15 minutes. He says, it doesn't make any difference. The market's going up. And he says, how do you know that? And he says, it's bullish. He said, oh, okay. So he went in, and sure enough, the report was very, very bad. The T-bills opened slightly lower and just went crazy to the upside. And so Byron started to ask him. I happened to be there in that part of this conversation. And he said, how in the heck did you know? He said, all I know is when I looked at it, that it looked like it was going up, and I was hoping it might be bearish so I could buy it cheaper. And he said, really, there's no mystery to it other than that. He said, I have a, been seeing these things for such a long time that that's, that's, all I, that's all I do. And so anyway, those are some of the things that happens. Now, I wanted to, to bring another one up that we've been watching for quite some time and is actually beginning to look like it's getting ready to turn. And I'm not so sure. We had a nice big profit in this at one time ended up being out with a very slow profit. But you can see here, we well, we had this, we, we were so selling it up here at this level. And of course, we, we covered it when we got down to the 382. And then it went sideways, but it couldn't go down very much. And gold is actually back, backed up above the 970 level too. So that's another one that we want to uh, really keep, keep a close eye on because if this thing can't get any lower than what we've just done in the gold, but you've got the stocks are, are just not, they're acting very poorly, folks. This NASDAQ, I mean, I, I, don't, I just don't know why, why people don't talk about this. This, is, this was the, the one that ran the whole gamilla. And, and we, are, we are, look at this. This is incredibly weak. You're talking about the, the big daddy rabbits, you know, the Google, the, um, the uh, which is Amazon, all those stocks, uh, Meta, Meta Forest or Facebook, whatever it was. Uh, all that stuff is in, in that NASDAQ 100, and boy, that's a really negative chart. Well, you know, you might, might say, well, this is making just a nice ABCD down here that could turn the market. And that's absolutely correct, because if, if this is, in fact, ABCD, and we get down here just a little, let's do this together. This might be interesting just to do together. Let's do that, folks, since no one's asking any questions. I can get some work done on time, and I'll get up here to take a quick look at it. And, uh, okay, let's get to the old NQ, which is right there. Let's do a uh, one hour and 20 minutes. Let's do a four-hour chart on this. 
and see where the pedal meets the metal. And oh my goodness, it's coming true. We're going to be taking a look at it right here. All right, just give me one second here to do the work. Well, you can see what I'm watching at. Let's do it. Let's do it together. You know what the heck? People never ask me anything here, so I'm just going to do it the way I want to do it. How's that? Worst they can do is fire me, and they're not going to do that because I love them as much as they love me. Okay, here's the NASDAQ. You can see the nice little double bottom here, A, B, C, D. Take out the bottom by a little bit. Then it ratchets up. There's a 382, 382. Goes up here. Now look here. You see how we're making three lower highs? That's a 135 pattern. Okay, now this is when the S&P got up to the 4060 level. Now look at that. See, the ABC is going to come down in here somewhere. You see where that little dot red dot is right here bubba you see that red dot there's where the game's going to be played today right there so let's do this together and hold on and see if i can do it without any trouble at all what i'm going to do is i'm going to blow it up so we all can see it real nice and clear that's down. Oh, boy, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to type this in because I should be. If I wasn't doing a show, I'd be sending this thing out uh, right now. So we're going to put it in at 1, 2, 6, oh, oh. We're only 60 uh, handles away. Oh, boy, man alive. If this thing doesn't hold 126, shut the front door and raise the rent because then it's going to be really bad. Hold on a second. Get this ready here. God, can you believe this, folks? I've been doing this for 62 years, and I love it the same as I did the first day I ever did it. And by golly, I'll tell you, I have been very, very lucky. Now, all i got to do is find that chart that I just made. Oh, operator, operator, please be fair. I see there's something in the air. Oh, no, no, no. It didn't come through. Oh, shucks. Hold on. I'm going to do it again. It'll be here waiting for me. So oh, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> All righty. Uh, oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Just a minute here. Got to do it the other way. This is really important, boys and girls. I mean, really super important important ah here it is okay now what i've done now get this up here so you boys and girls can see it hold on there we go okay all right this could be the thing that makes the market go up you got an a b c d Coming in right here at 12,600. We're at 12,600 and six, 12,600. So 600 more points right here is where you want to be watching because if this fails, the old proverbial pudding will hit the fan. But that's an ABCD at a 382, and we got to be ready. So I'm going to be putting some limit minders in. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, bear with me here for one second. And as soon as I find this puppy, there it is. Okay, I want you to follow my train of thought now, folks. I'm going to, I'm going to relate to what's happening with the NASDAQ at 12,000 even. It's trading at 12,650 right now, 500 points away. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at, guess what? We're going to look at the same pattern that we're seeing, and we're going to find out where the game is going to be played today. So there's where we are right now. There's where the 786 was. That's where we shorted it up there at that uh, 40 30 level when we got up here. Now we're down here to this level right here. You see, we're at the 50%. Now there's 618, there's 786. Well, when we get to that number in the NASDAQ, which has been leading the parade, if it does get there, to, I don't think it'll get there today because that's another 500 points. So we might even get a bounce in here somewhere. But you can see the difference is what I'm trying to point trying to talk about is the fact that the NASDAQ is the leader on the way up. It was a leader on the way down, and it just made a 382 retracement of the move from the high of December of, 19, of 2021, two years ago. It's only made it to the 382 retracement. No, nobody's talking about that other than me and one other person, and can't trust him at all. He lives over in the UK. Anyway, well, almost UK. Anyway, that's that's what I'm I'm seeing here. That's the possibility that we could be looking at. So anytime anything could come up, the Fed could come in and turn the market just like a whiz, whatever. Um, that I don't know, but right now it's acting relatively uh, poorly. You know, we're uh, we're going to see you know what happens to it, but it's certainly you know not doing too good right now. I just uh, see the low from just a couple days ago. Uh, we've already taken that out, so we're going to see how this thing uh, moves. Okay, let's uh, move on here to the uh, Treasury bonds because, you know, they're a big tip-off to what's going on in the market sometimes. So we're going to get that on the hourly uh, four-hour chart just to see where you are. I've got to take some of these out of here. I've got a lot of lines in here because I leave my interday lines on because they, uh, they line up pretty good. But uh, here is the Treasury bond, and I hope this will come out really good. And it will. Okay, now, folks, uh, we bought at that 382 right down here. Remember, we had this big three drive. This is when the market made the bottom right here. We came down, stopped here. We bought here. We took the position off right here because we were trying to 
make a lot. We ended up making a point, but we left two points on the table. Now, here's the possibility that we could be looking at. This could be a very large A, B, C, D. Oh, there's time out. Somebody's, somebody's at the door. That's my alert minder going off. So that means something moved dramatically, and it's probably more soybeans. Uh, actually, no, it's Dow Jones uh, giving up a little bit of money here. Let's, uh, well, I don't want to see the Dow. The Dow's really tough because you're only looking at a few stocks. So I don't, uh, I don't worry too much about that one. Let me turn it off here, but I got to find out what that number is. Sorry, folks. Let me do this. We're going to do this together because I need to do it. I might as well do it now to see where we are here uh, in the Dow Jones because the Dow is, you know, still way up in the stratosphere from uh, where we were. But if you look at it now from the high we made yesterday, oopsie daisy, it's not too good. Let's just draw it up here. We're probably not even at the 382, are we? No. The 382 on the Dow is down another. Uh, 80 points. So I'll put this up here so you can see it. We start breaking there because the Dow has been the one that's been going up. But unfortunately, that's only 30 stocks. And of that 30, 10 of them run the whole thing. So let's move over here and take a look at this one. I hope this is not confusing for everybody, but I don't hear anything from everybody. There's probably nobody listening. So that's not a problem. Anyway, there's there's the 382. You see the we got the S&P is already below the 50 percent the nasdaq is making lower is below here so there's something wrong so whether the this is fooling everybody i don't know but we can do it when you can do it with six uh, with about 15 stocks good luck you know i'm just saying that's uh, what we're watching here so i hope that makes a little sense let me get down here to uh, see what's going on here and dial vertical okay got everything hooked up together all right, now, one other question that someone asked me about was a, a stock of Bank of America, firmly owned by A.P. Giannotti. He was the man who started it in 1906 in San Francisco, and my grandfather moved here, great-grandfather great -grandfather moved here, in great-grandfather moved here in 1926, and he bought some stock in that. Unfortunately, he held it all the way through the uh, uh, the, the crash. He didn't have much stock. He had like 50 shares, but uh, it stayed at you know, like very, very low price for a long time. And then he finally got his money back. But he he his main thing was making salami cheese and whiskey and uh, or grappa, which is Italian corn whiskey. And that's how he that's how he kept the uh, family going for all those years. And as you can see here, get Bank of America up. We had a big low here yesterday. And uh, this is another one. I mean, how can anybody be bullish on this stock? I mean, well, you're, you're, this would be the time to buy it because you're at some major expansion. So this, if the market turns, and it certainly can, and you can see that by watching the NASDAQ and the others, if the market turns there, these are the laggards, okay? The banking index and the tech index are the laggards. If that turns, you can imagine what's going to happen to the market. You know, you, you hope you understand what I'm looking at because I'm bearish, you know, and that's it. In, in the book of um, Roy Longstreet, uh, The Viewpoints of a Commodity Trader, <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a saying in there that, that is really true for all traders. I'm running scared and loving it. And you know who took that? Those boys that did get smart, Don not uh, Don Adams, and uh, oh, what's the guy's name? Uh, that was the brains behind the whole outfit. I'll think of it in just a second. But uh, I played poker with Don Adams. Oh God, so many times we had a regular game uh, the third Thursday of every month, and nobody ever missed it. But uh, he he was the one that uh, that said that. I don't know, if, <laughs> but the, the saying is, no matter what you're in, you, you, you like your position, but you're running scared. And that's what you want to be doing, because if you're running too confident, uh-oh, uh-oh, that's when the pedal meets the metal and you run into a whole lot of problems. So uh, just keep that in mind as you're looking at some of these things today, because uh, it's quite uh, quite uh, interesting anyway. Okay, someone asked a question about the natural gas. It's not ready yet, folks. Uh, let's bring it up to daily here, and we'll take a quick look at it. And uh, I'll be doing another show today. Boy, does this time go fly. You know, if you guys would call in, it would make my job a whole lot easier. You know what I mean? It really would. And 
I'll do it as long as you guys start calling in. If you stop calling in, you can say goodbye because I like to have people asking me questions and that's what I like to see. So here's what we are looking at. Get this set. You see, it's we're making new lows almost as we speak. I'll blow it up because we can see it a little bit better here. And all I got to do now is to put it into the file and move it over here. And then I just got to find it. And we're going to talk about the natural gas when we get back. I hope. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. He was a good friend of mine. Three dog night, folks. And we've got Jeremiah from Arizona on the line. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing really good. Thank you for taking my call, sir. You're, you're very lucky. There were 10 people ahead of you, and you were just squeezed in. So what can I do for you? Well, sir, you know, I'm just, I've been trying this for a couple of years. I have no prior experience doing this stuff. And, you know, Mike, I was just wondering if there's any words of wisdom you can help put me in the right direction i i watched a couple of your videos 
And I am all about, you know, the GAN style, you know, even the what? astrological, everything. It, it just really, really fascinates me, and I love trading. And I want well, to be the best trader that I can possibly be. Okay, I'm so, going to give you three words of advice, okay? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, Never sir. give up. Never give up. Never give up. That was a speech that Winston Churchill gave to the Westminster College, 1938, when they're getting ready to go to war. They were already at war with the Nazis in World War II, and that's what he said. So you live by that. You're going to go through a lot of trials and tribulations. I, You you found the, the GAN and Fibonacci stuff uh, your second year. You're way ahead of me. It took me 10 or 11 years. But have you ever read my book, Trade What You See? I just purchased that book. It is going to be here in a few days. I just okay. found you online about two well, or three days ago when I when I started looking into uh, you know I I, I kind of did the typical thing where you start trading and then you try like fifty different things and then you switch every time you lose. Yes, and you <laughs> know you kind of it's like the spiral of <laughs> changing weapons or whatever you know and. Yeah. But I, I kind of needed that too, just to kind of get a hey, feel listen, for what I like. E you know, email uh, know. Jeremiah. Email me at Larry at tradingtutor dot com, and I'll send you a gift. Okay. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you, you so bet. much. We'll see, very you see you, folks. I'll be on in another hour. See you next, uh, just a few minutes with the trade. What you see, volume two will be coming up. If you want to call back, Jeremiah, go ahead. <laughs> 